It's been frustrating autumn in the Alps of snow sports lovers so far. All of that is about to change. Things got off to a great start back in mid-September with fairly decent falls of snow in the Western Alps at mid-mountain level and across further east it was virtually snowmageddon. Huge dumps of snow down to pretty low levels. On the whole, September and early October was pretty damn wet, which is exactly what the glaciers and high mountains needed to fill in all the crevasses and basically help them recover. But since then, much of northern and western Europe has been stuck under a big, stubborn, warm high pressure, which is not what you want at all. Virtually all that snow that fell back in September, certainly below 3,000 metres, has now all but gone. The mountains have been looking very, very dry recently. But finally, that weather system is about to shift and winter is making a very welcome return. Atlantic lows are finally about to make their presence felt in Western Europe again. And crucially, we're going to be in a cold air mass, which means snow, snow, snow. Lots and lots of snow. The first weather front in a long, long time is going to plough its way across Europe and the Alps in particular on Tuesday night. And that's then going to open up the floodgates to a massive plunge of polar air, which is going to sweep across all of Western Europe. So in two or three days time, the temperature could have dropped by 10, 15, maybe even 20 degrees. Freezing levels, which have been up around 3,000 metres for weeks now, are going to be plunging basically towards sea level. So a huge change. Naturally, there's lots of variation in the computer models, but some forecasts are suggesting well over a metre of snow falling by the end of the week above 2,000 metres. Indeed, they even some are even suggesting that you could have well over half a metre of snow down at 1,000 metres, so resort level for many of the Alpine resorts. Even the more pessimistic models are still predicting upwards of 80 centimetres of snow up in the mid to high mountains and certainly a good 20 to 30 centimetres of snow down in the valley, although that will also be interspersed with a bit of rain. So only time will tell whether all that precipitation which falls will be falling snow down in the low valleys at around 1,000 metres, or whether a lot of it will be, will be rain. But either way, we're in for a lot of precipitation over the next two, three, four days. Currently, this cold snap is only set to last for a week or so, but this is it. This is kicking off the start of winter now, because even if the temperatures rise, the sun is really weak at this time of year, the days are really short, and there's not going to be much meaningful rain in the forecast, so any snow that does fall, even down to valley level, it's probably going to last now up towards the start of the ski season, which is absolutely great news. So keep your eyes peeled on all those webcams over the next two or three days, because things are set to change drastically. Everything now looks very, very brown, but come Thursday or Friday, it could look completely blanketed and white. Now, many resorts in the Eastern Alps are already open, particularly in Austria and Switzerland. There are plenty of resorts which you've been able to ski at since early October. Some, of course, you can ski at year-round. So they're going to be very, very thankful for this bout of snow, as things are starting to look very, very lean on some of the pistes. Further west, nothing is yet open in France, but the first big resorts are planning to open this weekend, 23rd of November. So this snow has come just in time for the likes of Teens, Valterens, and potentially even a Grand Monte in Chamonix. Now, there is still a long time to go until the official opening of most of the resorts in the Alps. Many resorts won't be opening the doors for basically another month from now. So things could well change again before some resorts have opened. I fully expect that at some point between now and Christmas, we will get a warm spell. We always get a warm spell at some point in December. It has an annoying habit of being warm and wet just before or on Christmas, which is quite disappointing, but yeah. I'd much rather have the snow now and for it, some of it to melt again than to not have any snow now and be desperately waiting for it to come, think, crossing your fingers for snow at Christmas. So keep doing your snow dances. One week of heavy snow isn't enough to get the whole of the Alps open and operating, but it is a brilliant start and it's exactly what we need at this time of year after the dry month that we've had up to this point. But I certainly can't wait to get out there, get up there and get skiing again. So, see you all on the slopes.